living light, y'all. How's everybody doing? I hope y'all doing okay. And uh, with this funny weather again, where well, well, I am, I got snow. So a lot of y'all probably got snow too. So just stay warm. Stay warm. And if you don't have to go out in it, don't. All right, you guys. I'm coming to you with this another video. This video is... Um, it's, I think it's well needed in the community of uh, plant-based eaters. You know, for those of you who are new to this way of eating and don't have a clue of how to do things on your own, this one is for you. Okay, and I'm dedicating this video to uh, one of my spiritual sons, uh, Uriah. We call him Dreadful Cosmon as well. Okay, now... What this video is going to do is going to show you how to make your own um, uh, uh, plant-based patty, okay? Like hamburger patties, okay? Now, this don't have no beans and all that in it. This is just going to be a straight, um, like a protein burger. That's basically what it's called, okay? Now, this is not my recipe. I got this recipe from... It's called Making Vegan Meat, and it's by Mark Thompson. And I'll link his uh, YouTube channel in the description. The name of his channel is called Sauce Stash. Okay, he does, he makes, he make bacon out of stuff you wouldn't even think of, you know. And uh, all his, all it's all vegan or all plant-based, so yeah. So uh, uh, I'm going to tell you everything that we're putting in here to let you know it's not a bunch of junk, okay, and it's safe to eat. Now, the first thing we're going to use is um, TVP or texture protein, okay, This, it, this comes in um, different forms. This is what it looks like dry. Okay. Now, you, if you, this, is, this is made from soy flour. That's all it is, is soy flour. And let me show you on the bag. That's what it says. Just straight soy, for nothing else. See that? It says soy flour ingredients. One ingredient, okay? Now, if you don't want to use soy or if you can't, for some reason, you can't eat soy, then you have this, meatless crumbles, okay? This is made out of pea protein. And let me show you all everything that's in here, right here, where my finger is. That's all that's in there. Nine GMO pea protein. Okay, now, this stuff is loaded with protein, if, the, if that's what you need. This, okay, one serving of this is one cup, and it's got 45, 45 grams of protein. Um, this, it has one-fourth servings, and it has um, 12 grams of protein, but I'm quite sure when you add it all up, it's pretty close, okay? This is what we're doing. This is the base of our hamburgers. Or I think I'm going to make um, cube steaks. Is that what you call them? Anyway, um, anyway, we'll start with this. Okay. Now, the next ingredient it calls for is potato protein. I don't have any potato protein, but you can use any protein powder that you have. I have pea protein right here. And it's, again, it's got, uh, let me put my finger right here. Organic pea protein isolate from yellow peas. That's what's, that's what's in here. Okay. So, I have, uh, that's all in here. I have four tablespoons. So, if you write this down, okay, we have one cup of the TVP or the textured vegetable protein, okay? Um, 
we have four tablespoons of the protein powder. And then we have what's called methicellulose, okay? Let me bring this up so you can see. This is methicellulose, HV. Okay. What methicellulose is, is the stuff that they use that they make veggie caps with. You know, like when you buy herbs from either Sela Shalom or Yaki Awaken, when you buy your herbs are they in those little capsules, those capsules are made out of methicellulose, okay? And next we have, okay, we have a half a teaspoon of mushroom powder. If you, in, in here, if you guys, well, let me show you what that looks like too. This is what it looks like. It looks like little granules. Can you see it? And this stuff is good. It, it brings out the flavor in your food. You can call it, it is a, it, it's just straight mushrooms. That's all it is, straight mushrooms. But it acts like, uh, um, what you call that stuff? Um, oh, shoot, that people use to, to, to make the food, the taste come out. I can't think of it right now, but, uh, um, like accent, like it brings out the food. I, oh, I can't even think of the name of it. I'm having a brain fart, y'all. Pardon me, pardon me. Okay, then you have, okay, with that, you had a half a teaspoon of mushroom powder. And if you have mushrooms at home and you have a way to dry them, if you have a, de a dehydrator, you can dry your own and make your own mushroom powder too. Uh, MSG, that's what I was thinking about. It works like an MSG, but don't have no MSG in it. It's just natural. Okay, now back to reading off. Okay, a half a teaspoon of the mushroom powder or extract or whatever. A half a teaspoon of onion powder. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of beetroot powder. You can make your own beetroot powder too. Again, if you have a um, dehydrated, just get you some beets. Or you can put it in your oven and put it on your lowest setting and uh, dry them out that way. But then you would, you know, crack your door a little bit, you know, and uh, go from there. But you can, you can do it in the oven, okay? Like I said, one teaspoon of beetroot powder. Then you have three tablespoons of nutritional yeast and that's all the dry ingredients okay that's everything i got in here and i'm gonna dump all that in here okay let me get a whisk so i can whisk all this together okay now Now that we got this all whisked up, now it's time for our wet ingredients. Okay, in our wet ingredients, we have one cup of water. And, then, and I just put everything in the cup, okay? We have one cup of water, one half teaspoon of liquid smoke, one half teaspoon of blackstrap molasses. And the reason why they're using black blackstrap molasses because it got kind of an irony taste. And a real meat might have that taste in it, okay? Now, uh, one teaspoon of soy sauce. If you don't want to use soy sauce, you can use liquid aminos. If you don't want to use any soy product at all, you can use coconut aminos, okay? But you're going to use uh, one teaspoon. Then you're going to use a half a teaspoon of white vinegar, not apple cider vinegar, but white vinegar. And then you're going to pour that on your dry ingredients. Mm. Got a little bit of the 
dipped in this bit of water to swirl it. Okay, I'm gonna pour it all in here. Then we're gonna mix this all up. And after we get it all mixed up, we got to let it sit for like 30 minutes so um, so that the, the vegetable protein and the uh, methicellulose can soak up all the water. Okay. So we're going to cover it. Cover, let me see, does this say allow mixture to be covered for at least 30 minutes? Okay. Okay, we're going to leave this to sit for 30 minutes, and in 30 minutes, I'm going to come back. See you then. Okay, you guys, it's been 30 minutes, well, more like 35 minutes, and, um, we, shoot, come back to, uh, check on our meat. Now, the next step is, oh, wow, yeah, the next step, we got to grade in our fat. Now, I didn't tell you guys about this. But I'm going to leave the ingredients in so you can make yourself your own. But like I think I said, I'm going to leave a link to his uh, YouTube page where you can go in and see how he made this. Uh, but I'm going to also put the ingredients everything in the description. Okay, we're going. This is coconut oil and uh, methicellulose and it makes a fat and we're going to grate it so we can put it in our ground I think that's enough. At least for me, that's enough. Okay, we're gonna transfer it to our ground. Ooh, gotta wash my hand. Put this back in the freezer. You free have to keep this in the freezer. Okay, now we're gonna mix this. Mix it in. Okay, let me bring this so y'all can see it smells good. It smell like seasoned ground beef. Look at this. I didn't mix the fat in it. It all mixed in later, but look at the color it is. That's what the beetroot juice uh, powder does. Okay.
All right, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pan preheated. And um, I'm going to bring you guys up to the stove so you can see. Okay? All right, now, I'm going to get the um, pan preheated. And then we're going to form these patties, y'all. Okay, now, look at that, don't that look like ground beef? I'm not going to make a quarter pounder. I'm just going to make a nice size patty. Because I'm going to make a ghetto burger. I know y'all know what a ghetto burger is. That's that burger that you have. When you don't have no buns, you slap it between some bread. Oh, let me wash my hands. Because I'm only going to make one and I'm going to freeze the rest of it. Okay, I have these little things. Uh-oh, I forgot the other part. That I got from a, um, I got them from a thrift store. Yeah, I got them from a thrift store. What you do is, He just, I'm not going to use that part because I think I can get them in. You put them in here and you form your burgers and you, and you freeze them. Well, I guess you don't really have to freeze them, but to me it makes more sense because you can get them out better if you freeze them. So I'm going to put that in here like so. Put it in here. What I do oh, right here. I got wait three burgers out of this. What I didn't what I made. I probably could have got four small ones, but hey, who wants a small burger? You know what I mean? Okay. Mm. Oh, here it is. I was wondering what I did with my towel. Okay, now we're going to take these. We're going to stack them. We're going to put the lid on it. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, now, uh-oh. Here we go. I'm going to stick these in the freezer.
Okay, you guys. This is my ghetto burger. This is bread, my heel of the bread. And, um, mm, it's good. Mm. As you can see, with the right ingredients, it's very easy to make, okay? So, give it a try. Take notes, take everything down, and like I said, I'm going to put, uh, go back, and, and the ingredients for the fat, I'm also going to put that in the uh, description box below. Okay, you guys? So, if this is the first time you ever watch any of my videos, I'm going to ask you to subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, so when I upload, upload uh, content, you'll get your notification okay so your own homemade burger not with beans or none of that stuff so give this a try y'all so with that i'm gonna catch you in the next video